An update tonight about a project to re-nourish nine miles of Pinellas County's beach coastline. It's currently in jeopardy. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck found out unless 240 more property owners sign a required easement, the beach won't be getting any new sand for years. Dennis Shepard and his wife can't get enough of this view. I love the color of the sand, it's nice and white. They keep it pretty clean. But the Texas couple is pretty straightforward. If North Reddington Beach shrinks much more, they'd be happy to vacation elsewhere. Wouldn't book it unless it did look nice. Now, a $45 million project to widen the nine mile stretch of sand between Clearwater and Reddington Beach is in extreme jeopardy. It's paradise, and you're gonna take away part of our paradise. In order to move forward on the project for 2024, the Army Corps of Engineers needs 240 more signed easements from beachfront property owners, putting the entire project at risk of being skipped for the next 10 years. It's a terrible thing to depend on somebody else for your livelihood, and that's what we're doing. Some beaches in Pinellas County naturally lose 11 feet of sand every year. That means if this project does get pushed back to 2030, there may not be much sand left. We have already lost a considerable amount of our beach through the last storm that we had, and we can't wait. We spoke with a handful of property owners off camera who tell us they're reluctant to sign because they worry it will give federal leaders too much leniency to build in the future. And because the agreement says it's in perpetuity, which essentially means forever, the county leaders worry less sand means less protection for the next big storm. This project is built to protect the condos and the homes and the infrastructure that runs along the coast. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.